Congratulations on the movie. I do want to start with an unrelated question, though, because I really love seeing the continued work you do for your alma mater. So I wanted to know, during your time at Auburn, is there anything that happened there that you find still influencing the work that you do as an actor and a producer now that you hope other students can experience themselves? I think just the time there, you grow up when you go away to school, uh, that you gain the freshman 15 pounds because you know, your mom isn't there making you dinner and you get to make your own choices. And then you realize you're drinking beer and eating wings and pizza, all those things that you love. And then you realize probably shouldn't be eating this. There's a reason why, you know, your parents make you eat vegetables, but that's all stuff that you learn on your own. So it's about that coming of age and the bonding experience that you have away at school, which is why my heart is breaking for college kids all across the the world right now. Yeah, and I know I know how you feel in that respect, but the stuff you're doing over there is very cool, and I have a feeling it's making a big difference. Yeah, so. we want to make sure that they uh, have some some good memories from this year, so we we just wanted to uh, give them some some kernels to play with. Absolutely. So you know, I can't not ask you about working with Anne on this, and. Mm-hmm. Maybe in particular, did the two of you ever swap villain notes? Because these characters are very different, but I feel like the Grand High Witch and Mob both require you two to kind of lean into the extremes with those characters. So did you two ever discuss that? Oh, no, no. We were busy discussing, you know, normal stuff like kids and uh, cooking and nail polish. And, you know, she's just a sweet, sweet woman. And uh, between takes, we were just laughing. We laughed a lot because she would come in in her, you know, Grand High Witch outfits and just she she just turned it on and, and turned it off so beautifully. I would believe it. So on Collider, we play a movie making would you rather game often. And this one question feels like it would apply to you right now. Would you rather work with a real animal or a CG creature? CG creature. I would rather work with a CG creature. (laughs) What would happen if you were offered a role working opposite a real animal or bug and it happened to be a tarantula? I I wouldn't take the part. Uh, Just somebody else who likes those things. I mean, I saw a tarantula outside my trailer just this week and there's no way on God's green earth that I would do a scene with a tarantula. No way. I understand that. Your character in this movie is a healer, but in real life, do you have any suggestions for some folks out there who might need some extra healing right now to get them through certain things? I would say call your priest and go to a doctor for sure. (laughs) Go to doctors, don't heal yourself. (laughs) Don't read the internet to see what your symptoms are because symptoms match everything else. Yeah, I need, I'm a big Googler, so I need to take that to heart a little Uh, more. Stop diagnosing, trust me. You always give yourself the worst possible disease. Yep. So another thing that I was reading about was your Friday night best picture group, which sounds like the most amazing thing ever. So twofold question with that one. First, what is the best character you've dressed up as yet? Well, I have to say the other people in the group dress up better than I do, like Amy Adams and uh, Elizabeth Banks, Adam Shankman, uh, Melissa McCarthy. They, They all dress up so much better than I do. Revisiting those movies and seeing if they've held up or not, has that influenced the kind of projects you gravitate towards now as an actor and producer? Well, um, we just started doing that during uh, quarantine, Um, but it made me, I think I will definitely going forward, wanna make sure that um, the stories are uh, uh, ones that will transcend time. You know, and the the storytellers are a huge part of that. Who is getting to tell those stories and how they tell them. I like the sound of that. And I'd like to bet you're going to do it. Thank you so much for your time today. And huge congratulations on The Witches. Thank you.